queen of the Adriatic, the floating city, La Dominante. Venice. Hello and welcome to AWZ. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Let's travel to Venice together. Venice, also known as Venezia in Italian, is a city located in northern Italy that serves as the capital of both the province of Venezia and the region of Veneto. Venice is also a major seaport. It is now a city on an island, but in the past it served as the capital of a marine republic. It was the most important seaport in late medieval Europe and served as the commercial and cultural link between Europe and Asia. La Serenissima, which translates to the most tranquil or sublime, was the name given to Venice when it was a republic because of the city's exceptional environmental, architectural, and historical qualities. In addition to being one of the oldest tourist and cultural centers in the world, it is still an important Italian port located in the northern Adriatic Sea. La Dominante, La Serenissima, Queen of the Adriatic, City of Water, City of Masks, City of Bridges, The Floating City, and City of Canals are some of the nicknames that have been given to Venice over the years. Since the fall of the Venetian Republic in 1797, the city has had an unmatched place in the imagination of Westerners and has been incessantly recounted in both prose and verse since that time. It is difficult to differentiate the actual city from its romantic representations due to the luminous spectacle of ornate marbled and frescoed palaces, bell towers, and domes that are reflected in the sparkling waters of the lagoon under a blue Adriatic sky. This scene has been painted, photographed, and filmed to such an extent that it is difficult to differentiate between the two. The traveler who arrives in Venice is nevertheless whisked into another universe, one that possesses an ambience and beauty that cannot be matched by any other place. Today, Venice is acknowledged as being a part of the cultural and architectural inheritance of all humanity. This is an appropriate role for a city like Venice, whose economic and political autonomy has been maintained for a thousand years thanks to its participation in international trade. Its framework of canals and narrow streets has prevented the intrusion of automobiles, and its unmatched wealth of fine buildings and monuments dating from the period of commercial dominance has ensured a keen and almost universal desire for sensitive conservation. The situation of the city on islands has limited the modern suburban spread beyond the historic center. Its framework of canals and narrow streets has prevented the intrusion of automobiles, and its unmatched wealth of fine buildings and monuments dating from the period of commercial dominance has ensured a keen and almost. This concern for conservation is now extended not just to the city's monuments, but to the very city itself, as rising water levels and subsidence of the land upon which Venice is built threaten the continued existence of the city in its present form. This concern for conservation began with the city's monuments and has now expanded to include the city itself. The entire city of Venice, including the lagoon, was included on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1987. Pop, 2009 EST, City, 59,984, 2011 EST, Commune, 270,884. How big is the Italian city of Venice? The total land area of Venice is 798 km2, which is equivalent to 308 square miles. Indeed, Venice is quite compact. To be more specific, the arsenal encompasses a space that is 2 km squared and is a restricted military zone. The public surface area in the city is only about 6 km squared. How many people call the Italian city of Venice their home? In February of 2019, the population of the island of Venice fell below 53,000 people for the first time in almost a decade. In 1951, around 175.000 Venetians were residing in Venice.
10 facts about Venice that you should know. 1. Canals The floating city, Venice, is made up of 118 individual islands. The islands are connected to one another by bridges and separated by canals. Venice is home to 177 waterways or canals. The Grand Canal, which is fashioned like AES and cuts the city in half, is the greatest of these waterways. The depth of the canals in Venice is anywhere between 1.5 and 2 meters, 4.9 and 6.5 feet, on average. The Grand Canal has a depth that is, on average, 5 meters, 16.4 feet. In the old center of Venice, swimming is not permitted in any of the canals. You could risk a fine if you do. 2. Passages and Bridges There are around 400 bridges that connect the various islands that make up Venice. The Rialto Bridge is both the oldest and most well-known of the bridges that span the Grand Canal. The Bridge of Size is yet another one of Venice's well-known bridges, Ponte de Suspiri. It is a connection between the Doge's Palace and an old prison that goes over the Rio di Palazzo Canal. Before being taken away to their cells, prisoners would take one final glance at Venice and their freedom as they made their way across the Bridge of Sighs. 3. Gondola Rides Gondolas are not simply the lovely mode of transportation for visitors, they have been used to travel around the canals of Venice since well before the 11th century. In the past, this city was home to over 10,000 gondolas, however, that number is closer to 400 in today's day and age. All gondolas are black. However, in order to differentiate one from another, each one may have a distinct upholstery, trim, and detail combination. 4. Murano Glass Since the 8th century, Venice has been an important center for the production of glass. Bright colors and complex patterns are hallmarks of Venetian glass, which can be identified by these characteristics. The majority of Venetian glass production takes place on the island of Murano, which is found in the Venetian lagoon. Recipe books containing trade secrets for creating glass are handed down from generation to generation in order to preserve the age-old practice of glass blowing. 5. Carnival the celebrations of Venice's Carnival, which take place approximately three weeks before Ash Wednesday and Lent, are one of the things that have helped to make the city famous. The Venetian Carnival is not complete without its signature masks. People of varying social positions were able to interact with one another without fear of being condemned because they could hide their identities behind masks, which safeguarded both their privacy and their social standing. There are approximately 10 distinct types of Venetian masks, but the Arlecchino, Bata, Colombina, Naga, and Pantalone are the most common. 6. The Piazza San Marco The Piazza San Marco is considered to be the most important public space in all of Venice. The most well-known and well-known church in the city is located in St. Mark's Basilica, which is located at the easternmost end of the plaza. The Doge's Palace, also known as Palazzo Ducale, is located right next door to the Basilica. It was formerly used as the center of Venetian administration. Concerts and other types of performances, including those that take place on the street, are frequently held in St. Mark's Square, which is a bustling center of activity. The most enjoyable way to take advantage of this lovely location is to place an order for coffee, secure a seat at one of the outdoor tables, and take in the ambience. 7. Streets that are too narrow The city of Venice is famous for its intricate network of winding lanes, laneways, and narrow streets. It is almost expected of visitors to the city that they may, at some point, become disoriented within the complex street layout. In the Canarijo neighborhood, Calle Verisco is the place to go if you don't suffer from claustrophobia. This street is only 53 centimeters wide, making it the narrowest one in all of Venice. In point of fact, it is among the most constricted streets in all of Europe. 8. The Greeting Chow has its roots in the Italian city of Venice. One of the most interesting and entertaining facts about Venice is that the city is the birthplace of one of the most well-known greetings in all of Italy. 
The greeting ciao is one that is not unique to any one country or even city, rather, it is used all throughout the world. It is said to have originated from the Venetian greeting Eschavo Vostro, which translates to your slave. After some time, this was shortened until it formed the word ciao. 9. Venice is sinking. The majority of people are aware that Venice is struggling, and a significant number of its issues are related to the water. It should come as no surprise that a city built on water is inherently unstable. Nonetheless, recent reports have shown that Venice is sinking at a rate of up to 2 millimeters each year. This is due to a combination of natural and human reasons, and as a result, a number of its most well-known landmarks are in increasingly grave danger of being submerged in water. During my most recent trip, a good portion of Piazza San Marco had platforms installed in case the paving stones became submerged in water. 10. The city of Venice was established by people who were escaping Germanic invasions. In spite of the fact that Venice's history is shrouded in a certain amount of obscurity, historians generally agree that the city was founded in the 5th century AD by citizens from neighboring Roman cities who were attempting to escape invasions by Germanic and Hun tribes. Refugees who were hoping to escape the unrest and violence that accompanied the fall of the Roman Empire found the lagoon of Venice to be an ideal spot to conceal themselves. This is all for now. Check out other videos on our channel. Enjoy.